Hi, it's Alistair Chapman here again. Um, so a short stream this one. This is something that I discovered when I was looking for another piece of gear for my little uh, live production setup. Um, I've got a Wirral Lite cable cam and I like to use my little DJI Pocket 3 hanging from that um, cable cam to, to shoot. Now that's great if you want to record in this and you can remotely control it from your phone and everything else, but you're only able really to record locally on this. And I really wanted to find a way where I could stream from it because I thought that would be something really useful. And in my searching, I came across uh, a website and let me just bring up the uh, computer for a minute and I came across this, which is the uh, co-streamer for various DGI products. Um, so they have um, quite a few different um, products and uh, for different DGI devices, for the drones, um, for the Pocket 2, um, and also they have something for this. However, this isn't actually on their product page currently. You can't buy the license because it's not exactly a perfect thing. So what does it do and how does it work? So if we look at here, on my desk I have a Raspberry Pi 4. It's a Raspberry Pi 4B, 2 gigabytes of RAM in this one. Uh, I've just got my power going in. I've got a little uh, USB Wi-Fi dongle in it here. I've got an Ethernet connection going to my laptop um, and then I've got an HDMI cable coming out of that to my monitor. And I simply downloaded the, um, the Cosmo Streamer image from the Cosmo Streamer website, put it on the, an SD card, booted it up, um, followed the instructions on the website, they're pretty good and got uh, contacted the guy that writes the software directly and uh, I got a license from him for the DJI Pocket 3. Each camera requires its own license. So the way it works is it uses the Wi-Fi to, to connect to the Pocket 3 and then it converts the Wi-Fi that the Pocket 3 normally sends as a clean video to your phone when you control it with a DJI MIMO app um, to a clean feed on the HDMI output. So let me turn on my Pocket 3 and Let's see how this works. Now, it should automatically now connect. It's going to use the Wi-Fi to connect to the Pocket 3. It does take a little while. The Pocket 3's Wi-Fi takes a few seconds to actually come on, and then it can take the Cosmo Streamer um, a few seconds to actually find it. So let's just see if it is going to connect. Of course, being a live stream, of course, it's probably possibly not going to connect. Um, what I have found is sometimes switching the Wi-Fi bands on the uh, Osmo Pocket will do the trick. So I'm just going to go to the Wi-Fi settings and um, where are we? I've gone past them. So wireless connection, Wi-Fi frequency. I'm going to just uh, just going to switch that to there and see if that does the job. And of course it's going to be stubborn and it's not going to work now. Let's try that again. Let me just flip it over to 2.5. Oh no, there we go. So it has connected. It does take a little while to connect. And now you can see on my HDMI output, this is from my Pocket 3 gimbal. And there is some lag, it, it's obviously there's a bit of lag in it. Now the biggest restriction of this, and I should also, if I go change the tabs on the laptop, be seeing it on the laptop as well. Um, so there is a bit of a delay um, in it, which is kind of expected, but I think the, the biggest sort of limitation and restriction actually is that it's um, 720p, so it's not a 1080p output, it's only 1280 by 720 the stream. And every now and again, you do get some glitches in the stream. Um, but in terms of distances, I've, I've actually gone through walls with it and, and got quite surprisingly long distances. Certainly a few hundred meters is relatively easy. I've actually, un, at the moment, taken the antenna um, off 
the Wi-Fi dongle here because I find that when when the, the, the Osmo and the dongle are this close they tend to overload each other and I get more issues with the connectivity so for the moment I've taken the antenna off but you could put a directional antenna on there if you really wanted to extend the range and it's a really interesting little thing um, that I wasn't aware of I hadn't found it seen it previously it allows you to get live streams from most of the DJI devices some do it by taking the USB-C output from the receiver into the pocket streamer device some work by using the wireless connection as we've got here um, so there's different applicate different configurations depending on what you're using but it's certainly something that if you're trying to do something like I am which is to get a live feed from a pocket 3 um, so I'm going to be able to put this on my wireless gimbal and use it to get a live output uh, via HDMI okay it's only going to be 720p but for a lot of things that will be good enough there you go it's just just glitched a little bit um, it doesn't do it all of the time every now and again you get that um, but it does it's going to allow me to do some really interesting things especially some with some of the circus stuff to do live streaming from a very lightweight cable cam and other applications it's called Cosmo Streamer, C-O-S-M-O-S-T-R-E-A-M-E-R -E and I'll put the link to the website uh, in the uh, description for the video at some point. So just thought I'd introduce you to Cosmo Streamer. Thank you for watching.